Hey there. Okay, so I'm going to try something, a little test. Um, there's been talk about how paints react in different climates. And typically my climate is in the Midwest. So there's some humidity and extreme hot and extreme, extreme high, high temperatures and extreme low temperatures. Um, although I always do my painting in, you know, a controlled climate indoors in my house. Um, but today I'm in a different climate. I'm in the desert. Again, I'm in a controlled climate. I'm indoors, but I feel like there might still be something going on with the climate that's different from uh, at home in the Midwest. So just gonna try it out, see if there's anything that happens differently than in the climate that I'm used to painting in. So with all other things being equal, meaning I'm mixing my paints the same as I always do, which is about probably 80 to 90% Floetrol um, to uh, 10 to 20% paint. And I use a um, Art Artist's Loft acrylic paint. All of my paints are Artist's Loft acrylics in this case, except for one metallic that is a Deco Art. So I've pre-mixed all my paints and I'm just using some sort of earthy tones since I'm in the desert, I thought I'd go with that, with the exception of this non-earthy tone, which is simply a metallic red and a metallic lemon yellow mix. And so I will get these all ready and put them in my pouring cups and we'll start pouring and see what happens, if we get some cells or if we don't, or. Maybe we get something completely different. So I will check back in a little bit. Thanks. Okay, so I'm back. I dumped all of my colors into my pour cups. And um, I like to let these sit in the cup for a while. So while we're letting those kind of the paints kind of settle and I like to say get to know each other, I'll show you real quick the cups. It looks like some cells are developing in the cups, which is a good sign. Um, so that's good. Um, but while I'm waiting for that, uh, I'll just mention that you can see that maybe, maybe you can see that I covered my canvas with a base paint, which is just gray. It's just a, um, let's see here, what is it? Oh, well, it's actually silver, silver. And I like to cover my canvas with a base because I feel like it helps the paint flow a little better if it has something there to, uh, to move uh, the other paints once I put them on the canvas. So I will run through my colors real quickly. I've got one of my all-time favorite colors I recently discovered was this Deco Art Metallic and it's called Rose Gold. I really like that. I've got Artist's Loft Bronze. I've got Artist's Loft Copper. I've got Artist's Loft Metallic Black. Clunk. <laughs> and then this sort of homemade color, this one here. It doesn't look orange, but it's basically red and yellow, which you would think makes orange. It looks kind of pink to me. But it is, uh, both of these are Artist's Loft, and this is a metallic red, I think I said this earlier, and a metallic lemon yellow. So those are my colors. And um, I don't think I mentioned before that I always start with a level canvas. I know I've, if you've watched any of my other videos, I really kind of harp on this. I feel very strongly about keeping my canvas level. So when I set up my when I uh, set up my canvas on my cups underneath, on top of a pan or whatever dripping uh, drip catcher that you're using, I think it's so important to make sure that your canvas is level. So I always start with that. And again, I started that way today. So I'm gonna let these cups full of paint sit for a bit and uh, I will check back in a little bit. Thanks again. Okay, so I've let these cups sit for a little while, probably well, three to five minutes. And um, 
Let's flip these babies and see what happens. One, two, three. I can see some bubbles forming over here, which is good. Bubbles are always good, in my opinion. I'm a little worried because I used quite a bit of black in these, both my cups, so this could be darker than I was hoping, but we'll see what happens. All right, cup number two, one, two, three. All right, and let's let these sit just a little bit too. I know a lot of people like to take them off real quick, but I, I just feel like the paint needs to find its way to the canvas naturally. And I, I like to let things sort of happen that way. So, um, so yeah, so uh, I didn't say it earlier, but thank you for watching and welcome to Designs by Carrie Ann. I'm trying to do um, some videos to demonstrate my process in hopes that some other po folks might be inspired to try this method themselves because I'm sure having a lot of fun with it. And some of my friends seem to really like what I've come up with and I really like what I've come up with for the most part. And uh, you know, it's a relaxing hobby or if you wanna make a business of it, great. Um, so yeah, so like I said earlier today, I'm trying to, trying a little bit of a test with a climate comparison. Again, I'm in controlled climate because I'm in, indoors, but you know, there's gotta be some difference. And uh, I wanna see what happens. I have to admit though, I'm a little off because I'm not in my normal studio with all my normal supplies. I've just sort of got, you know, stand-ins, for instance, instead of uh, mixing, um, Mixing sticks, I bought these cheap little cocktail forks at the dollar store. <laughs> and I don't, I'm worried about uh, messing up the floor and, you know, the area that I'm working in. In my, in my the studio that I work in, it's everything's protected, everything's covered, and I don't worry about, you know, accidents or mishaps. But here I'm a little bit edgy <laughs> with regard to that. So I'm not quite as relaxed as I normally am when I'm painting. But nonetheless, let's keep going. I think these guys have sat long enough and I like what I'm seeing over here. There's some nice red, this red, this red yellow color that I made up is uh, kind of pretty. It kind of looks uh, like salmon instead of orange, which you would expect with, you know, red and yellow. So I'm gonna lift this guy up and see what's underneath. One, two, three. Ooh. I see this rose gold in here and this copper. Like I said, I was trying to go for some earthy tones since I'm here in the desert. And I think I'm getting that. <coughs> see this guy? Yeah, nice, nice. All right, I like this. Okay, so I see some bubbles, which to me, indicates I might have some cells coming but in order to facilitate the development of those cells I'm gonna to have to add some fire so let's set these guys aside and let's add a little fire again I'm a little nervous because this isn't my normal studio and I don't have uh, my uh, safety measures in place so I'm going to be a little bit more delicate with this so yeah, I picked up this cheap little lighter at the dollar store and hopefully it doesn't <laughs> blow us all up. So here we go. Well, hopefully it works. There we go. Right, let's run this guy around a little bit, see if we can pop some bubbles. Yeah. This isn't the greatest lighter. <laughs> I can tell right now. Oh, well, you know, you get what you pay for. It's makeshift. Everything's makeshift today. That's all right. I do like the colors, though. I'll say that. I'm not getting uh, a whole lot of reaction from the paints. And maybe that's the climate. Maybe that's... Maybe that's this cheap lighter that's not doing what, what uh, the one that, that I use at home does. Well, we'll keep trying though. 
Let's see what happens. I do see some bubbles in the paint here. I know you probably can't see it in. Okay, so my, my phone ran out, ran out of storage. So I had to uh, finish my project and then delete a bunch of files in order to continue to film. And uh, so what I did here is, um, I think I left off with uh, popping bubbles with my cheap little dollar store lighter. And um, I popped some bubbles and then I tilted my canvas like I always do and I ran off some of the colors that I didn't like. I got a little bit more pink salmon color in here than I would prefer but it is what it is. Um, I think I still like it though. Uh, I like that um, right through here we've got some cells. They're kind of small but they're they are there. I really like, I'll say this, I always say this, this deco art. Um, metallic rose gold creates this sort of glittery effect and uh, I see that in this as as expected. So as far as like comparing um, climates, I don't really see much of a difference. I think I might normally get a few more cells, uh, a little larger cells at least, and that could be, like I said before, due to this uh, this lighter not producing as much flame as the one I normally use produces. So maybe I wasn't able to pop as many bubbles as I as I do at home. Um, so I don't think, so I guess my assessment is, eh, I don't think the climate made any difference. Again, I'll reiterate that, yeah, I'm in a controlled climate. You know, I'm indoors, so there's that. Uh, so maybe that I don't I'm not I don't have a good, good uh, test here but nonetheless I've got a finished product and I really like it and I'm gonna let it sit here and dry and uh, see 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 what happens sometimes overnight things shift a little bit and uh, the colors pop up from underneath and I to be honest I wouldn't mind a little bit more black to show up I was worried in the beginning that I had too much black but it seems to have disappeared at this point, but you never never know. It might it might show up later. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to close out, and I want to th say thanks again for watching, and please subscribe. And if you like the video, please click the like like button, and uh, we will see you next time. Take care. Thank you.